Okay, let's hope I feel better about these videos than I did about last season's videos, yeah. So, this premiere, um... I liked it, but I don't think I have too much to say about it, and I really do mean it this time, okay? Because I didn't get, um, too much of a reaction from this episode, but let me tell you, it was not a bad kind of reaction. I was very satisfied with what we got, but... It was so satisfying that I'm just like, you know, I don't have anything to say. I just want to see what happens next time and then uh, soak this in, you know? Yeah, so this should be a pretty short video, at least for a survival one, huh? Okay, so going on in the intro a bit. Uh, there's nothing to comment about. They're just doing the marooning. They hop off, blah de blah And then um, the landing on their beaches and then first impressions. Um... I like how um, this season has a totally different feel to um, the tribes. I mean, like, obviously they uh, went from the non-primary colors to the primary colors, but, like, these tribes, they all feel kind of different. Like, every member on the tribe stands out in their own little way. It wasn't like Kagayan, where they, like, all seem to blend together. I really wouldn't be too surprised if, um... Once we go from three to two tribes, um, that I'll, um, you know, feel like everybody, you know, stands out as from being from the previous tribe like I did in, uh, Worlds Apart. Hopefully that made sense to you guys, just, this carries a bit of a different feel. So, how do I like these tribes? Well, I actually felt pretty much the same way for the, uh, Brawn and Brain tribes, pretty much. Like, they both seem to be fairly muscular tribes, very good at talking to each other and trying to help out, but they've each got their own a bad point, even though the alliances now are going a little different, because on the Brain tribe they stated it was turning into the older people versus the younger people, and then on the uh, Brawn tribe it was more of the talkative people coming together versus the people who just didn't seem to be getting along with each other, even though, um, as Jeff pointed out, the uh, casting process says is that um, we want people who will be good on the show to come first, and then we're going to assign them into the uh, tribe. So hopefully... Uh, Actually, no, 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 this won't be repeat of San Juan del Sur, because he stated then they cast for the theme rather than good on the show. So, yeah, even though I will admit, uh, after last season, San Juan del Sur has grown on me a little bit, whereas Worlds Apart has kind of slidden down, even though I think the cast is still kind of interesting, given their unique relationship with each other. Check out Rob Sosterdino Family Feud, okay? Trust me, you're gonna laugh on that. <laughs> Okay, so, um, and that pretty much summarizes my thoughts on Brain and Brawn, and, uh, oh yeah, the bra Brain tribe being a blue tribe. Um, like with Blue Collar, I'm not getting the exact best, um, strategy vibe from that tribe, even though, by all means, we should consider the tribe that, you know, would have the best strategists, but... Right now, I'm not feeling the overwhelming, you know, oh yeah, I'm supporting the blue team. I'm gonna wait and see where this season goes, because I'm rooting for all these tribes fairly equally, to be honest. And then as for that, a beauty tribe, well, that was the only tribe that really seemed to have, um, a few odd behaviors going on there, because it's just interesting personalities that we've got in there. We've got Ty, you know, who is, um, the oddball of the group, then there's... Nick, who appears to be kind of full of himself in the villainous way, then there's Caleb, who's full of himself in an obnoxious way, at least based on the edit that he's getting here. I honestly can't remember um, how he was full of himself a big brother. It has been a real long time since I saw that season, or any season of Big Brother for that matter. I still haven't seen 17 yet. Careful! Alright, be careful. I'm late to the party here. Right, but, um... Yeah, that takes care of the guys, and then the girls, um, I think this is the tribe where they all kind of blended together, even though they are trying to, you know, uh, work together, so it's guys versus girls, and it's gonna be interesting to see if that holds up, because 
It seems to be a bit of a trend lately that the women try to stick together and it doesn't really work out. It'd be nice to see it actually happen again, or at least have a little more potential, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that summarizes the initial beauty try thoughts, and, um, everything else before the challenge, you know, it's just... Fueling on what we had before, even though there was Ty's little bit of going for the idol. And um, I was just happy to see someone try and, you know, find the idol, and that's really all I can say on the subject, although I find it a little annoying that they didn't uh, really show his tribe finding him. And don't you think he was being a tiny bit contradictory, because he's like, trees are loving things, and yet he uprooted quite a few, and I don't think you can just, you know, put something back in soil and have it work again. I don't think it works like that, yeah. So then as for that immunity challenge, well, again, as I uh, referenced in my Cambodia finale video, this does kind of remind me of Guatemala, just a real tough first challenge with a good bit of water and land bit. And uh, the funny thing is, before the challenge started, I was like, okay, I think Bronn's going to win this because Jennifer got the uh, worm out of her ear, so which one of the other tribes is going to lose? Well, <laughs> turns out Bronn made a brain mistake this season, so <laughs> they were the ones who lost, but still, that was fairly intense. I was amazed at how it just kept jumping back and forth, back and forth, and then it came down to just one piece of the puzzle, and uh, I like how for once they made a puzzle that was really hard, you know, to cheat off. Uh, you really had to look at it and analyze uh, the puzzle, because if you look closely when you rewatch the challenge, you notice that little bits in like the center and on um, little bits of the limbs of the crab had a slightly different color texture to it, so that clues them in a little bit, but yeah. And I don't blame them for going for that, because since it's a puzzle, you know, that fits into a surface like that, it gives it away a little bit, yeah. So, I don't blame them for that. I was a tad bit disappointed when Braun lost, but I felt like it was going to be an interesting dynamic, no matter which tribe lost, so... Yeah. And I really wouldn't be too surprised if, like with Worlds Apart, each tribe loses an immediately challenge. I actually am currently hoping that that happens. I'd love to see that. So, Bronze have to decide between um, Alicia, I think it's Alicia, not Alicia, I could be wrong on that, or Darnell for making an honest mistake. And uh, for whatever reason, it seemed like they were targeting Darnell. Now, I haven't listened to his exit interview because I couldn't find it on uh, Rob Sestanino's website, and I can't remember if Dalton Ross does exit interviews any more that are, um, you know, actually, um, you know, the podcast thing. I thought he just did them as the video thing for the Survivor Talk. A bit, I'll have to check his bit again. I could have overlooked it, but, um, for whatever reason, it seemed like they were going to, uh, now, and then at that tribal, that was interesting, because everyone was floating ideas as to, you know, how to socialize with each other, how to do your pitch, and just, I found it interesting. It wasn't nearly as, like, what are you guys thinking? You know, like, white color wasn't how honest they were with each other. This was, like, the perfect blend of the contestants being honest with each other and Jeff doing honest questions, because I didn't have a problem with it here, really. Everyone did good here. So, um, I was expecting it to be, um... Four votes for uh, Darnell at the beginning, and then uh, two for Alicia, at least I think that's what I was thinking, so I was totally shocked that it was going to be a, uh, that it was free, free, and then all the voting Darnell, I was just like, what the heck is up with that? Just, the thought process here. Now, everyone is floating out the idol situation, but, guys, I think you could tell based on how... You know, the targets were uh, throwing their ideas around, neither of them had an idol. It's just one of those situations that I don't think splitting the votes was necessary, in my opinion. It was just like, well, it's a part of blue color of the tribal, throwing those votes to Sierra almost screwed them up, and it did. It was just darn lucky that uh, Mike and Dan were able to pull Sierra back in. Yeah. But Dono going, um, I don't think it's a huge loss. Oh, I do feel sorry for the guy, but, you know, given how little time we've had with the cast, not too much of a loss, yeah. 
poo for next week. I don't really have a comment though. I just think they're trying to make us uh, laugh. But um, I will give one a uh, spoil, tiny, tiny spoiler. Jeff hinted on a video that's on the Survivor on CBS page, so I don't know if you international people can uh, see it, that we should watch out for the fourth episode. He did say more than that, but um, I don't remember it to be honest, yeah. Well, five minutes shorter than a typical Survivor episode, yeah.